I can't say that I'm embarrassed because I know that I'm doing the right thing. I had a very interesting childhood, um, one that I thought was normal until a certain age. I was born in Kentucky, and um, then we moved, in which we moved around quite a lot um, when I was a kid. So you were always just, my mom had this, uh, her feet were on fire and she had to move, you know, so we moved constantly. So you were always the new kid and that wasn't ever particularly pleasant. Then we moved to Florida, South Florida, when I was about seven or eight. But um, my mother was quite unpredictable. She was very unpredictable. Um, she was a... She had the ability to be as, as cruel as anyone can be um, with all of us, uh, that is to say my sister Christy and my, my brother Danny and my sister Debbie and also my father. <clears throat> so um, essentially she was, uh, she could become quite violent, and she was quite violent, and she was quite cruel, and she, and though there was physical abuse, certainly, um, which could uh, be in the form of uh, an ashtray being flung at you, you know, hits you in the head, or you'd get beat with a high heel shoe or a telephone or whatever's handy. Um, so in our house, there was no, we were never exposed to any type of safety um, or security. The, the, um, the only thing that one could do, really, um, was to try to stay out of the line of fire. You, um, I started to um, be able to observe and I could see, I could start to see when she was about to head, head into a uh, We'd head into a, a situation where she was going to get riled up and somebody was going to get it. Um, generally, uh, it was me. <laughs> <laughs>